hi guys welcome welcome back to my channel Adon. this is the first video of the year so i'm going to say happy new year to everyone <laughs> i've been gone for quite a while and things have been so busy and yeah i'm so glad to be back today's video is going to be such an interesting one it is very very beginner friendly i can say this is the most beginner friendly video i have anyone can make this and i will be taking you through the process of cutting and also showing you guys how to sew it as well so stay tuned but before we get into the video i just want to say thank you all for a thousand subscribers we reached 1000 subscribers recently and i just want to say thank you so much if this is your first time stopping by welcome and please check out my other videos i make videos on cutting on sewing um, making patterns and all that good stuff giving you sewing tips so please subscribe to my channel and to all my 1000 subscribers thank you so much for sticking by for subscribing and yes god bless you guys all right so let's get right into the video so first things first you're going to need your fabric and i used about one meter you're going to need your cutting scissors your french curve you're also going to need this measuring gauge you're going to need a tailor's chalk pins and your measuring tape you're also going to need your measurements and bias binding so let's talk a little bit more about the measurements needed this is why i love this dress or top situation it's so easy so basically all you would need is your shoulder measurement and you're going to subtract two inches from that and the length of the top so from your shoulder to knee or however long you want it so you're going to go ahead and fold your fabric into two so that's what i'm doing here So next I'm marking the length of my top so from my shoulder to mid thighs my stopped around my mid thighs so I took that measurement and I added 1.5 inches for sewing allowance and marked it on my fabric So next, from the edge of my fabric, I am marking one inch. I'm just going to mark that all the way down my fabric and I'm going to connect the points with a ruler. So the next thing is you're going to put in your shoulder measurement so remember I, I said you take your shoulder measurement and subtract two inches from that well you're going to take that measurement and you're going to mark it on your fabric and then you're going to add two inches to it so you're going to add back those two inches and that's just for sewing allowance to hem the sides of your dress so i'm just connecting the points with a ruler So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. So as you guys have noticed, this is basically a rectangle. And that's why I said this is the easiest beginner friendly top you can ever make. I mean, it's so easy. I love it because it's just an overall. You can throw it on a pair of jeans and a top and <laughs> you look good. Now that I'm done cutting, I have two pieces, one for the back and one for the front, and I'm just going to go ahead and iron it. Iron, iron, iron. <laughs> And once I'm done ironing, I'm going to transfer the fabric back to my table and I'm going to fold each fabric into two. Once I have done that, I'm going to go ahead and place it on top of each other. So from the top edge of my fabric, I'm going to mark half an inch and that's going to be my shoulder line. So 
so at the fold which is the middle of the top you're going to go ahead and mark your neckline so the depth of my neckline I used four inches so for the width of the neckline I used 3.5 inches at first but you'll see later on I went on and I changed it to 4 inches I mean it varies you can go between 3.5 inches to 4 inches or even more if you want just make sure it's enough opening for your head to fit into the dress So yes, just use your French curb to connect two points together and that's your neck line done. Get your shoulder measurement, subtract two inches, then divide that value by two because your fabric is folded into two. From that point you're going to come down by one inch and that's your shoulder slant and connect the two points with a ruler from the outer edge of my other fabric I'm just going to mark one inch and that's where I'm going to fold and hem the sides of the top So now I'm just marking my back neckline. So from the shoulder line, I'm going to mark 1.5 inches. Now from my shoulder slant, I'm going to add 0.5 inches for sewing allowance. Once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. So moving on to the neckline, I'm going to cut the back neckline first, then I'm going to separate the back from the front piece and I'm going to cut the front neckline next. So lay your back fabric on top of the front fabric right side facing right side and join together at the shoulder pin it together and sew a straight stitch along the shoulder okay so for the belts at the side i have basically cut out four strips it is three inches wide and 28 inches long Go ahead and fold each belt strip into two, iron it down and then sew all the way down the outer edge. Once you're done sewing, turn your belt loops inside out. I'm just using a loop turner. This makes it easier and faster. Then go ahead and hem the sides of the top and also the bottom of the top. once you're done hemming it is time to attach the belt to the top so I advise that you take your shoulder to waist measurement and subtract about 2 inches from that 1.5 to 2 inches and then mark it on your fabric and attach your belt at that point so attach your belt to the sides and what's left is just the neckline once you finish up the neckline of the dress we're all done so moving on to the neckline, mark 0.5 inches all around the neck like so. Once you're done with that, go ahead and sew all the way around your neckline using that half an inch. Grab your bias tape. I am using a double folded bias tape. I got this from my local fabric store. I am going to open up one fold and I am going to pin it to the stitch I just made, making sure it's aligned properly.
once you've gone around your neckline you will get back to the beginning point so just go ahead and cut your bias tape so make sure it lays on top of the existing bias tape where you started and then just go ahead and sew all the way around Once you're done sewing, go ahead and grab a pair of scissors and cut little snips just before your stitch line. This enables the neckline to lay flat. Once you're done with that, go ahead and turn your bias binding inside out. So you see the other fold, I am going to open it up and I'm going to turn it. Once you turn it, you pin it and I'm going to just go ahead and do that all the way around the neckline. you're done turning it take it over to your sewing machine and sew all the way around that's it guys very easy very simple here's the finished look i hope you found this tutorial easy please leave comments down below on how you found it thank you so much for watching till next time bye